Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps out the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Alright, so let's go out there. Let's go. Make our way out here. Maybe we'll maybe we'll find someone. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Find some starving bandits to pick a fight with. Not some goats. Goats are dangerous. But all right. Anything over here? We have that we might be moving in the squinwardly direction. We go over there? No, it's just in the way. No one's decided to burrow through that. Alright, and is there... are there any others for us to come to blows with? The war of the goats. We don't want to go fight the goats. The goats are dangerous. Let's go that way, I guess. That's going to be a tech hunter, yeah, fish. And what else we got? Alright, we're heading into these benighted lands. Where is this? Then? Yeah. The benighted lands of the vein. Now, there are Gorilla over here, Gorilla or. There are stronger monsters wandering the vein that we could potentially train from pretty well. Now the only problem is if they knock you, if one of them knocks you down, they tend to eat you. So that could be a problem. What are these guys? A hungry bandits? Do they have a glorious leader? They do have a glorious leader. All right, let's take down El Glorious Leader. <laughs> El Glorious Leader. Uh, let's see. Day L Glorious Later. <laughs> like, huh? Get back here. Wait, wait, wait. Del La Glorious Later. There we go. Let's go. Fight them. Kill them. Chop them to bits. And yeah, we don't get any experience for fighting this guy. Out of that at least. Do we get any katana? Um, I think we get one point. Yeah, we get one point. But melee defense melee attack. Yes, because that isn't quite so high yet. His attack is low. <laughs> Alright, we're going to block. Let them try to finish them off. Very nice. Splinted all of our injuries as well. Oh, we should get a better spawn set. Okay, but took care of all of that. How's everyone looking? 17, 16, 18, 19. Our melee attack did go up, so that's good. Ever so slightly better at fighting. What is our dexterity bonus damage? Still 13. We could go to the Fog Islands. like Either right now or very, very soon. We are kind of jacked, but not the worst. 
It'll probably be worth it to us just to go heal because we're so close. That way we can go and fight more bandits. I mean, unless there's somebody out here for us to fight right now. Anybody whatsoever. Anybody at all. It does not look like it. So yeah, we're going to make our way up here. And let's go rest until our injuries are healed. Alright. Alright, so we are back. And our defenses are getting there. We are almost ready. Almost ready to go out there and show those dirty fogmen a thing or two. About what it's like to have your legs bitten off and uh, you know your arms your arms eaten. <laughs> we'll show them how it's done. Hopefully not. But yeah, it'll probably happen anyway. Let's go. <laughs> what are you? Escape servant. I don't care about you. Who's this? Probably an assassin? Yes. Wondering assassin. What else have we got? Anything over here? Let's see if there's anything over here. Not that I can see. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone over here. Yep, so just head over there. Let's do this. Is there anybody out there? No movement, no movement. We are just a bunch of predators right now. Looking for prey. That prey turns out to be a bunch of goats and they promptly wreck us. The goats are like, you what, mate? <laughs> We're like, no, wait. <laughs> We go, we step up with our swords, you just hear crunching sound and then the goat's leaving. <laughs> There's somebody leaving, it's probably the assassin. Okay, well maybe we'll find something on the way to squint. Let's jog down there. We still have plenty of food, right? Oh yeah, tons. Alright, come on, starving bandits, where are you? I need someone to beat up. That is the nice part about the Fog Islands. There's pretty much a fight everywhere you look. You look for a fight, you find. You want fights? You have fights. Mm-hmm. Call out a sword outsider. You know it, buddy. What do you call that? A big heavy weapon that you're not strong enough to use properly? Oh, man. Your honor is so strong. <laughs> Are you saying I am weak? To battle! <laughs> he tries to solo us as we run away and just shoot him with our bows until he falls over. <laughs> it's like, ah! We're not fighting that one-on-one. -on -one. Screw that. Alright, so... These are... A bunch of dust bandits. Those dust bandits could be dangerous to us. What are these? 
Goats. Bane of our existence. Alright, well, let's uh let's not get riggedy wrecked by the goats. How many of you are there? There are a lot of you. So it's been nice. Um I guess we're going to head back over here. <laughs> Been nice, bye. <laughs> For our lives. Um, let's see. Is there anybody out there? Doesn't quite look like it. There is that over there. Let's sneak out. Maybe it is... something. It is definitely something. It's the light out there. I don't know what that means. Um, it's probably like some secret or something. Some really uh, arcane secret. Maybe it's the light meant to lure people over and it's an ambush. Bunch of enemies spawn or something. Let's move a little bit faster there. Have some trees over there. Not too bad. And yeah, it is uh, not a whole lot of people out here. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Let's go over here. Maybe we'll find something. Or someone. <clears throat> we could also jump the Holy Nation. Start attacking their Holy Servants or whatever they're called. Get nothing over there. And let's see. Not a whole lot. Guess we'll make our way over here then. See what we can find. And what are those? Bone dogs? Bone dogs. I'm not necessarily interested in killing a bunch of burn dogs. And what are you guys? Pack bulls and nomads. That's nice. We don't have a bone to pick with the nomad, so we're good. Let's go over here. See what craziness we can get into. I'm also having essentially free housing. We already paid for it. Now we just have to. Now we just get to use it for as long as we for as long as we want. <laughs> we just ran out of the ground. Have we eliminated the starving bandit population out here or something? I mean, I doubt it. Cause they just they just spawn endlessly. We're just not getting big spawns at the moment. It's also possible. Oh, food! Yeah. What are they doing? Who are they attacking? Oh, they're attacking the caravanners. I'm not going to share anything. I 
Those caravaneers are going to absolutely annihilate them, by the way. We're going to, you know, hang back a little bit. And then we're going to join the vines. Let's join the melee. Let's go. Be one of the faster battles. <laughs> Mainly because those dudes are really not the ones you want to be picking fights with. They are really good at fighting. Yeah, fighting nomads, not a good idea. I'll mend with a gun. Alright, see you guys later. Did we take any damage? Yeah, we took a little bit, but not enough for it to really matter. There's a big group of them, though. A big group of dust bandits. Dust Bandidos. Okay, anything else around here? Alright, let's get up here, I guess. If we don't find anybody soon, we're just going to head out to the... Not the Sten Desert, but... Yeah, I'm not saying anything. Okay, so here's the plan. I know for sure that there are a lot of bandits that like Skinner's Roam. So... We'll go out there. Let's go, Cutters. What? Oh, okay, that, that, well, that works. Trying to take that mountain path, are we? I mean, that'll work. No, actually it won't. No, guys, guys, let's go here. <laughs> You're kind of running in the wrong direction there. Nice. Now let's go here. Alright, nice. And there's round. If we wanted to, we could go to Black Desert City as well. What I would like is for there to actually be skeleton smiths at Black Desert City. It talks about them all the time in the lore, right? Skeleton smiths at Black Desert City. And yet, there are no skeleton smiths in Black Desert City. It's like, well, what is this? This is a big load of bull. Holy mine ruin, huh? There's this fog wall. We're gonna go through it, we're gonna hear the music get really bombastic all of a sudden. And um we're gonna see a, a big red bar up here. It's just a big wall. A big wall of dust and debris. Just looking around. Are we nearing 
The Lost Army? Or... Well, there's a spider. We don't want to fight this. Not yet. We do fight those, we'll just be using sling bats to shoot it to death. But we do need to get better at actually using our crossbows and not shooting ourselves. Because uh, that has happened before, it's rather unfortunate, and uh, the spider will think it's hilarious and so useful for it, it will approve entirely. It will be like, yes, please, do that again. Make my job easier for me. Okay, so over here there is, there are the holy sentinels. And usually there are bandits around. Usually. Because this is a nice, a big area. It doesn't look like quite today, though. What's over here? Looks like an old burnt out like homestead I guess is this acid water no I don't know why I had everybody run in there just that's if it was acid water <laughs> but uh it was an acid okay and that's an active little place a lower servant What are those? River raptors. Well, I mean, we don't really care about that. We just want to uh, find more people to fight. So, let's head back to a Skinner's Room. We will find more people. Find some dust bandits to pick fights with. Some starving bandits to pick fights with. Be fantastic. Hmm. Who are you? Deck hunters, got it. Those are wild bulls. Yeah, we don't want to uh we don't want to pick fights with those. Those hurt. Yeah, wild bulls have a tendency to uh, absolutely wreck your party. I think because animals, they hit AoE all the time. When they attack, they can hit multiple people. They can attack relatively quickly. So it's kind of just a lose-lose situation in a lot of in a lot of cases. It's why you have cases where a bunch of bandits will attack just a couple of animals and then just immediately get wrecked. Okay, well down here in the border zone there are lots of enemies sometimes. Good number of dust bandits, so that's usually a good time. Considering that's what we're after. But, uh, yeah, they're just not here today. Oh, yeah, we're in the area where almost every new player puts their first base. And that immediately gets wiped. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be another tech hunter. Yeah. Alright, so is there anything out there? Anything at all? Let's go back to this. Get a nice little vantage point. We can see everything that there is to see. 
Right, this is a nice little camp over here, probably of dust bandits. Yes. Seems to be a good number of them too. Okay, any movement? Doesn't quite look like it. There are more nomads. <laughs> but we don't want to pick fights with the nomads. That'd be bad for us. <clears throat> they would just say, well, if you insist, as they crack their knuckles. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Maybe we find more people. I don't think you can make a, a faction go extinct just by killing their patrols, killing groups. I think you actually have to kill a leader. I don't know if we... And we haven't killed, like, the starving bandit leader, to my knowledge. If they even have a leader. So, I think we're fine. Now, there are some bone dogs. There are a lot of them. This might be one of those scenarios where... I mean, if there's only one that wants to fight... Then, um, as long as we split up... We should be fine. Kill it. That's one bone dog that's doing all his damage to us. Oh, we got him. Took him dead. Let's now rip out all of his meat. Grab his pelts. Alright, who's hurt? So you're kind of hurt a little bit. Maybe got some toughness and melee attack and melee defense out of that. Uh, you seem to have gotten a bit. Nice. And the other bone dogs are over here. We can go and arrow them. We can go and bow them down. Let's see if there are any other things moving out here. Anybody else? Is there anybody out there? Doesn't quite look like it. As the bone dogs slip further and further away. Okay, so what direction are they? In this way? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, we're going to go with ranged. And let's engage the bone dogs. Click, click, bang, bang. Oh no. They're coming for us. Do I think it might have to have a clear shot to the bone dog to actually hit? So let's do that. Shoot them. All right, getting a little bit of damage in there. Ah, you shot me. You actually shot me. Eh. As long as we can get them from actually charging, then we get just far enough. 
Okay, let's run. Ow. Shoot him. Shoot him! And we are doing just a bunch of damage to all of them. That's just how this works when you do this. And uh, one of them was dangerous enough, honestly. So trying to fight even two of them might be excessively dangerous. Because again, how animals work, that they can AoE like crazy. There's really not a whole lot you can do about that. So I can just take it. Little bits of damage all around. So one goes down. That's good. Where are you looking? <laughs> Though honestly, the, the bone dog that went down might have gone down from blood loss. Because bows, bows, crossbows do a lot of uh, bleed damage when they hit. So there is that. Now, some pole arms do additional damage to animals, so if you're out animal hunting and you don't want to use bows, then that can be useful. Now, let's go ahead and try closing in. So, Fen, I'm going to have everyone attack that one. Everyone attack this one. And then, Fen, you specifically attack that one. So hopefully that means we can split them up enough. Not. And we managed to not take a whole lot of damage doing it that way. So that works for me. We also have a lot of meat that we can work with. Ah, this is all the horror all the wall. We have this bone dog over there. It's just one of them. So, Fen, you attack. What's its skills? Yeah, Fen, you attack it. I'm gonna have you block and taunt. Well, the other two of you. Engage it from behind. Ben, what are you doing? Why are you just standing there? It's probably because blood. <laughs> I just block everything. All right, we should probably head back to the hub, where we can. Also, what's everyone's crossfit skills at now? Twenty, eight, seven. Better than they were before. The but let's head to here, I guess. Head down there. We'll see what we can do from there. Because we want to eventually head back to the hub so we can sell all this stuff. And everything should be alright. All right, let's go over there. If we run into any starving bandits, we'll fight them. Take them down. But there haven't been a whole lot of them, so I wouldn't hold my wouldn't hold my breath for us to encounter any. Yeah, I don't see any. So let's go ahead and go over here. Yeah, we're, we're kind of jacked as well. So, I'm going to go here. You can go there. And uh, Cloud, I'm going to have you take Laharl's backpack. Actually, Cloud, I want you to give Laharl the meat.
And then Laharl, I'm going to have you give Cloud the tanned skin. Okay, while you guys heal up, Cloud will be back. He's going to go sell everything. For all the profit, for all the pleasure. Well, let's do this. Alright, I want to sell you these. Let's see, we have a lot of teeth as well. I don't know if they're actually used in anything. But we have a little bit more money. Alright, so... Let's have you come over here. And we're actually going to create a fireplace. Let's see. Camping. Campfire. That should do it. Now, what I want is for as many of these meats as possible to fit in there. They all fit. Sounds good. So, Laharl, you're here. Cloud, I want you to come trade with Laharl. He's on the way. Yes, he should be. Yeah, he is. Works. Alright, so. Take that backpack. And let's go cook all that meat so we don't have to worry about it. Gives us something to do while, while they heal. Something that actually needs to be done. Oh, good. That, that works. Just add another campfire. All right, there we go. Very nice. All right, Cloud, take those. Take these. And those. Very nice. Very nice and excellent. You're healed, you're healed, and uh, there you go, buddy. Don't say I never did nothing, oh yeah. Alright, so... Let's see what we got. 18, 16... We might need to just let them concentrate on dodging against a... pack of hungry bandits. let them see what they can do, how long they can last. Of course, if we do go and fight the Fogmen, that they will basically level up very quickly in comparison. So I'm not particularly worried about that. They would level up relatively fast. Just a bit safer here. No chances of them being uh, carried off and eaten. There's some movement. No movement. No nothing. Oh. You guys are exiled servants, aren't you? Yes. Escape servants. Okay, don't quite see anyone.
Yeah, for reliable, for constant and reliable fights, the Fog Islands would be ideal. We would have to train Beep there as well, so he would learn very quickly. Huh? Oh, there's a Garu. We don't want to pick a fight with those. That'd be bad. Be a bad play. A bad idea. Let's see, how fast were you? <laughs> we were. Oh, man. 64, 63, we are amazing at running. We can outrun pretty much everything. And more caravanners. Alright, so I think we are going to just go to the... Go over here to the mongrel. That will at least make it a bit easier for us. To find the fights that we want. And plus, just getting extremely regular fights. It's like, alright, we're healed, let's fight. And then, alright, we're healed, let's fight. The Fogmen only use... The Fogmen, except for Princes, only use blunt weapons. So we don't have to worry about our limbs getting chopped off or anything like that. We just don't worry about them getting eaten off. Now, there are monsters over here near Height and Hyper Territory. Which are rather... Monstrous. Rather, uh, vicious. Nasty. Sure, man. <laughs> Come play with us. Oh, man. There are gorillas, uh, beak things, and others. They all want to play with you inside. Metal veins over there, not too bad, not too bad. All right. And we are almost there. Very nice. Fog island. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to here-ish. We can just go into Mongol. Because we all run super fast. We don't really have to worry about stealthing past the fog moon. We can just sprint. Now if he can sneak into this place, then it's really easy to just quickly amass a small fortune, sneak attacking fog princes and taking their skulls. If, however, you get caught, yeah, I might get eaten. They might say, om nom 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 nom, and that's it for you. Hello friends, how's it going? Beep! Beep! You're here? Alright, let's go see if we can get into any fights. Is anybody screaming, ah, fuck, fuck, ah! Or something like that, you know, the usual. The usual things you hear in the Fog Islands. There is a small group of fogmen over here. By small group, we mean about, I don't know, 30 or 40. <laughs> Let's go get their attention, shall we? Okay. Three's coming for us. Well then, let's do this. Engage. Well, we already took one down, huh? Excellent. No, no. Let them come to us. Oh, three more are engaging. You attack him, you attack him, and you attack him. Oh, 
Alright, Finn has taken down two of them. And our friends are getting rather beaten badly. Can we withdraw? We can! Let's do that. Create a little space. Let's attack this guy all at once. That's fine looking. Pretty good. Cloud's just getting absolutely jacked. Cloud, I want you to focus on blocking. Actually, Cloud, you're not going to do anything if you just block. So, let's chop them down. Alright, very nice. He's running. Go get him. Put him down. Let not the enemy escape. <laughs> I got him. There we go. It's all good together. Let's actually withdraw so that we can patch ourselves up. Can we sneak away? Cool. Let's focus on healing up Cloud. Let's heal the Harl. We are just fine, too. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go fight more. Stop sneaking and go. Engage a target. None can stop us. Alright, where are you? Oh, cl clouds over there. Fighting, that's good. Let's do this. Nice. Got more over there. We're taken down. Works for me. How are you guys is going now? So 16, 17, okay, sort of equaled out. Alright. Yeah, kind of equaled out quite a bit. So they are now yeah, they're they are strong enough to be in the fog islands. So let's go back to town. We will need to heal some of our friends. Just a little bit. We took no damage, which is pretty good. Alright guys, we're gonna go over here. Now you two. You there, you there. I'm gonna go look for someone. Don't ask who. Hello, my friends. Where are you? What's this? Oh, that's just somebody screaming. Well, who I'm looking for may be... Usually wanders around town, but maybe he's at a bar. Drinking his sorrows away. Who knows? Welcome, friend. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. All right, we have some shinobi assassins as well. Pretty good stuff. There are a lot of bars here that I do remember. Maybe because they're open 24 hours a day. That's pretty nice. If I ever see that stickman again, I'll feed him his goddamn lantern and my sword too. <laughs> and who's this Hanbo? The problem Hyper Warriors face is that I don't think it's possible for them to get um, gas resistance because of their heads. So that's a bit of a problem. 
Angry that Lantern saved my hide. Saved many men's hides, mine included. Really? Let's see, who's this? This outlaw. His name is Outlaw. John Outlaw. Alright. Where is this person? He's just a random stranger. Random strange person walking around town. And again, maybe he got numbed. Who knows? Maybe something snatched him up. One of those should never be gone. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, none of them seem to care that I'm here. That's good. It's a clothes shop, eh? Nothing of value in there. Well, probably something of value. What is this? The arm shop? Very nice. This is a little residential place you can get. Who's this? Ex servants? Shinobi citizen? Usual. Maybe our dear friend is over here somewhere. Who knows? Doesn't look like it. But then again, it is an interesting time. We ran into him naturally last time. Now we're having to look for him. Oh, it's a swipin shop. Okay, no one here. I wonder if NPCs can die off screen. Like if it's possible for the um it's possible for someone to just get offed to to die permanently from your playthrough. That you are doing anything because you just didn't talk to them fast enough. That would kind of suck. Hmm? Oh, yeah, you can talk to all the Shinobi guards. <gasps> Beep. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you know my name? You just said beep for no reason, so I thought maybe you were introducing yourself. You must be kind of some kind of genius then. Actually, yes, actually I am. Can I join you? I want to become strong. Become a swordsman. You don't look very strong. Do you even have a weapon? Do you have any skills? I have nothing. They exiled me from the high air. Just because you keep saying beep? I am defective. Not good for the high air. But beep does give up. Beep is stronger. Since I left high air, since I left the high air, I can feel my mind changing. The way I think. I feel free. 
Having thoughts I'd never had before, I want freedom. But everywhere I go, things try to kill me or chase me. Beep, try, beep tires are running. Time to stab the things that chase me. <sighs> Another weak nobody. How much money do you want? Money? I don't know what that means. Oh, welcome to the tea. <laughs> beep. Alright, beep. Oh, welcome. There is something where... Why are you guys standing? Get back in your beds. I'll introduce you to the new guy in just a moment. Go on, Beep. Hoof it. Good work, Beep. Alright, everyone. This is Beep. Hello, Beep. I'm Laurel. I'm Cloud. And Beep. Let's see. We are going to kick lots of ass together. You know that, right, Beep? Beep. <laughs> we are going to annihilate the world. We're going to feast upon them. We're going to feast upon them. Eat them. Kill them dead. Weapon Master Beep the Destructive. The to be feared. Beep will become the one they fear. <laughs> now just imagine Beep with a chainsaw. He's He's got a double shotgun. He's got a chainsaw. <laughs> Alright, so everybody's gone, so uh, that usually means that they're all fighting over here. So if there's a fight going on over here, I must... Well, that's pretty far. So I... Uh, they're fighting over here. Don't worry, that'll be over real soon. I'm not really too worried about that. Are you beep? Beep! <laughs> Hello! Everyone should be coming back relatively soon. From the, just the slaughter that was what just happened. Oh, who's this? Who are you? Plastic surgeon. Well, maybe we can go talk to him. Let's go see. You need face changed? Alright, so. I've got Beep taken care of. He's ever so slightly different. Okay, so these are nice. However, if we can, we want to... We do want to train up Beep's skills. Now, if I remember, he doesn't actually... Yeah, he doesn't have anything. His strength is actually zero. And um, yeah, he does like three damage when he punches something. Okay, sounds good. Using a heavier weapon, not carrying people or, over, or overloading inventory. Okay, so... We have our sneaky boys. Now, Beep can be a sneaky boy as well. We could have him be martial arts. He is going to lose his arms very quickly. <laughs> now let's just be realistic here. His arms are going to go whoop. <laughs> very fast. And one of the ways we can help Beep level up very quickly is by ensuring that he wears no armor whatsoever. That means he will get absolutely wrecked again and again and again. But, you know, it's just the price he sometimes we somehow we sometimes have to pay. To be absolute chads. 